there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, so welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today is the first of three analysis videos, where uh, in this theme park newsroom analysis video, we're going to analyse the three new LSM launch coaster concepts by Intamin. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at the single launch. In the next video, we're going to look at the double launch, and in the last video, the triple launch. And we're going to go through the video detail by detail and talk about exactly what goes on in each layout. And during the POV of the ride, share a couple of my early thoughts and then go into detail about my thoughts uh, after the POV. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're on the road to 3K and a million views. We're nearly there. Let's keep going towards those targets. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and also uh, the original video will be linked in the description down below so you can go and check it out for yourself. It's currently unlisted on Intamin's YouTube channel as of recording this, so, what, now, so I'm going to put the link to it in the description down below so when you've got the link, you can watch it despite, despite it being uh, unlisted publicly. Uh, but for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the first of our three Intamin launch coaster concepts, the single launch. So here we are then guys, the Intamin Single Launch Roller Coaster. And uh, this concept is the LSM Coaster 25 to 596 model. Uh, it has 15 elements in less than 600 meters of track. Uh, and it also launches to 80 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds, which is not bad for a single launch coaster. It has eight different airtime experiences, and it's a beautiful layout, by the way, with two inversions. So let's have a look then at the layout detail by detail. So of course, the, the, the car leaves the station, turning around in 180 degree anticipation turn. Of course, you love those turns on a coaster. It launches to 80 kilometers an hour in that single launch on the coaster into a 0.5 negative G top part uh, which creates that negative G force now after the top part it goes straight back down diving uh, into a floating airtime bunk giving no G's of force into a dive loop inversion which gives off 0.25 negative G force then it goes up into a 0.1 minus negative G airtime hill then it goes into an upwards turn which is a lovely nice element but this upwards turn um, goes into a horseshoe roll inversion into a 0.6 minus negative G uh, amount of force on the horseshoe roll into a fast direction change you can see the rock work it passes around into an overbank turn after the overbank turn it gives off a minus 0.3 G floating airtime camelback and afterwards a 0.9 negative G intense airtime camelback into a rising triple S turn after the rising triple S turn it goes into a 0.4 minus negative G airtime jump into the break room. So what are my thoughts early on about this coaster? I think the landscaping of the coaster is absolutely spot on. I think that the you know, there's not much intenseness, a lot of negative Gs, which gives you a lot of airtime, uh, which I think will be a, a wonderful welcome addition to this particular concept of the launch coaster. I think Intamin's done a fantastic job here uh, with this coaster. Obviously, the colour scheme on this animation is blue and white, as is for the rest of the launch coaster concept videos. Uh, but what I've noticed here is the track is very uh, Condor style. It's very Condor, Wolby Belgium shaped track design. Uh, so I like that they've gone with that. And uh, obviously we're going to see lots more of these Intamin launch coasters, uh, such as uh, obviously the um, uh, the one coming to Park Asterix in a couple of years, but this one is absolutely amazing. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, that is looking a little bit into uh, the single launch coaster. Now going into more detail about my thoughts on that, obviously you heard me talking just earlier about the landscaping of the ride, the fact that we've got multiple launch coasters uh, coming uh, to the world from Intamin in the next few years. Obviously I mentioned Park Asterix as an example, uh, and I think there's plenty more to come, there's plenty of more to come. Uh, and I think that going into more detail about the track design, you know, it was very similar to Condar. I think that, again, this is just going to be a wonderful addition to the park, and I think that, or any park. And I think that, um, again, like I said, Intamin have done a fantastic job with this. So, you know, I'm a huge fan of this concept, and, uh, you know, I really hope you guys, you know, stay tuned because I'm sure one of these will pop up somewhere. Um, and I think that Intamin's really revitalizing their concepts now. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this little analysis theme park news and update on the single launch coaster stay tuned for the other two videos from the double launch and the triple launch but for now guys 
My name is Coach Chell, Keatley on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an intimate, fantastic day. Thank you.